And welcome back again. Let's play through the Loft Reels for the DS. So, what is it that we're actually going to do here? We have literally a single thing in this park right now, and it's somehow, appropriately, as my plans had foretold, essentially, it is something Sparkle Island related. What else do we do here? Things that are specifically created to not be thematically appropriate for some reason. Things that are thematically appropriate. Oh no, seven people this time? Four, jeez. I don't want to train all those guys. Oh, okay, I'll have to train a lot of those ones. 25, man. We're doing a recycling quest here, man. Okay, well. For the sake of having a consistent income, you probably should start out with making stalls and whatnot. It's an interestingly shaped place. Also, considering that it counted last time, it probably counts if we talk to the invaders, quote unquote. See? They're fine. The other guy's freaking out about the invading aliens. But we probably want to put some things here. You need the standard food and whatnot stuff. Especially if you have to worry about making people happy. What do we eat in the future? I don't really know if, these, if any of these work. Especially, I don't know what kind of food would work for a future place, honestly. Huh. Sure, I guess. Okay, so, camera, could you please? So, how much space do we have here? So, we have space for one, two, three things here. But one here. And then drink things. Or that might be future drinks. People always specifically ask for those, so sure. Now we're still gonna have to actually add rise after this course. Look at that, it's symmetrical. It's beautiful. And some nice fancy future bathrooms. And truth be told, the deluxe restrooms do have a vaguely, I guess you might say, futuristic looking design. It doesn't actually fit here, does it? Yeah, it does. It looks strange because it you can't put it back in the back, but whatever. Okay, so since these are as big as they are, let's put some 3x3 three three rides in here. So what did I need to make earlier? Vortex doesn't fit here. Oh, you can't. So I need to unlock it before I can complete that mission. Cool. I haven't unlocked it. Great. Can I make anything thematic here right now? Yes, I probably should have I can. So I don't know which things are thematic here, but the things that are them thematic seem to not be unlocked yet. And this game doesn't tell me what I unlock when. That's a problem. So I want to put thematic stuff there. And I have to put them right somewhere anyways, just for people to stop complaining. So I guess I'll just put this here. You'd have all of it facing this way, I think. Whoa, what? Alright. What? How? I made... Dude, I placed a single ride. These guys are easy to please. What do they want now, then? Where do you get the balloon? Yeah, I know, but apparently you're ecstatic. Whatever. Okay. So what else do we have here? Not a lot to choose from, I don't think. 
Scare plane as well, I guess I'll end up using or sky sweep. In that case, this feels ever so vaguely maybe more futuristic, like a flying thing kind of. Let's go with that. Alright, so there's some stuff there, finally. You will so annoyed by how little stuff is here. I mean, the more stuff I built, the more income you're gonna be getting. I don't know what you mean theme park, it's not pretty themed. I guess it's futuristic, at least supposedly, but... Anyways, I do need to play that hoops game at some point, so unless I end up challenging somebody to it, it would be good to put down a game myself here. Yeah, so I don't really know how I was ever even planning on enacting that whole Usagi theme park at any point, because like there's literally nothing Spark Island really that I can do, aside from putting down that one game, and it's already being put down for me. It's a little peculiar. We can start out with the coaster. Uh, I only don't have the money for the coaster, actually, never mind. It's not to say we can start out with an extra large coaster here, too. Start raking in some profits, but actually, we've been spinning without making much money back. We do have a much larger amount of money being made back now than we did before, but even so. I think there is one thing. Oh, this stupid. Why can't I move the camera over there? I think there are, there are one or two rides that actually could build right now that were thematic, if I remember right. Uh, no, actually. Great. Well, cool. I can't complete that mission yet. I might have to talk to other people, or by that I may mean, have to do the story missions first to unlock those. Um, it would be good to hire staff and do all that stuff, but I'd prefer to get games on that down first. In fact, well, should I? See, now I'm just trying to figure out which place I should use for games. So we're clearly having this spot empty. So what would be appropriate next to Usagi? This, somehow, maybe. I don't have much of a justification other than maybe like Usagi liking the idea of harming small things. I have to talk to you. I'm still contractually obligated to talk to you. Not you specifically, but the more general lar larger you. The collective you. Look, I'm working on that, but the game isn't like letting me build the things that I really want to build right now. Uh, that's a bit bigger. I don't want to waste a bigger spot like that. So I'm putting like a Ferris wheel in here or something. Or anything else. Sure. I should also upgrade these things. That hadn't occurred to me until just now. No, no, stop it. Ghost, no. I thought you could get yourself... There we go. You can get yourself to come off the ride early. It is tempting actually to increase the price on this thing right now so I can get better profit from it since I'm kind of hurting for money right now. Get back, Eric. You guys couldn't see that I was trying to click on the alien that whole time. I rest assured it was happening. Okay. Well, only can't upgrade games, to the best of my knowledge. What can you modify with these, just the pros? Nope, nothing. I hadn't noticed until just now that the soggy head was actually floating there. Okay. So we can probably upgrade these ones. These uh, these rides have been around for a while. I need to upgrade rides anyways. This will increase my profits a bit more. 
I saw no way people so immediately went up to ecstatic when they were still complaining about the part not having anything in it. I find it a little questionable. What are you doing here? Uh, I can build some. I can put some right here. In fact, see, didn't the game at one point... I think the only way for the game to tell you if you have enough of a particular thing is for you to actually look at that thing. Look, I'm working on it, but I have no money right now. You need to invest in this coaster. Give me money and I'll make that coaster. Okay, so I'm going the wrong way. Over here. Space cows, I guess. That's what future cows look like. So why is the future on like a big canyon? I don't really figured that part out. So, can we see how many you need? Needed, zero. Interesting. You need one. Yeah, it seems like you always need one by default. Regardless of how many attractions you have or something, because that seems to be what people from Rhode Island talking about. Well, I don't mean to look at that thing. Like how he just cut off the screams. He didn't need any. Well, what about that poor alien over there, man? Alright. We can also just put down one more 3x3 three three attraction here. To help work with the whole lack of attractions thing. Is there anything else I have here? A scare plane looks like the thing to do. Okay. Now, if we make all this stuff early, too, it's probably going to mean that we're not going to have to worry later on about what happened last park or what kind of nearly happened, where we actually managed to finish all the quests without necessarily uh, getting enough throw points to... I guess he just sticks his head in there. To uh, actually start the next part. I can make a smaller coaster now, I think. I'll have the big coaster be on its own on the left. I believe I want an extra large wooden coaster too, specifically. Extra large, okay. That's not a thing we can do right now, that's not within our funds reach. Oh jeez. We don't have a lot to work with here. The future's on a budget also. Why am I not unlocking any of these inverted coasters, man? Coasters are not cheap. I still don't have a lot of these things. Yeah. How much of this game is left again? Come on, I think oh, it never does this shape. There we go. And thus we have created. Nebulous. With people already on it. They saved the front spot for me for some reason. Unless they just kick someone off. Which might have happened. At this point we're kind of watching the same animations every time. I don't know. Okay. Well, ghosts are achieved. So, what are people whining about now? I still need to talk to people, so I might as well. Get something out of it. Okay, cool. Oh, is that, is that person with the bows that I thought was... No? Not sure. Person I thought was a werewolf earlier. <laughs> Last episode. So now nobody really seems to be concerned with anything. I still need to talk to people, though. That's a thing. So I just need to listen to these generic responses. They get repeated over and over, basically. I don't know how you think we're going to be able to afford to care for all you people here that are never going to go home. Look, man, they exist. You just need to look for them. We, got, we need a map or something. It reminds you of some other real park management games though where you have things where people like stay in your park for upwards of like 70 days 
Mostly harmless. Just don't touch the meat. It burns. Okay. How many people have I talked to at this point? Man, 25 people is a large number of people to talk to. Especially when they're all saying the same thing. They're like three quotes. See, I have a feeling that this person's model and their art don't really match up. Because it looks like he has like dog ears or something in his model. See, look, the more I talk to these guys, the more I'm convinced they're actually not a problem. Jesus, how many more people are there to talk to? I want to finish this before I end off the episode. Man. Nineteen. Okay, so I have six more people to talk to. Man. We can do that now. Knock that out of the way real quick. Alright, so five. Four. Three. Count guy on the left. Oh. Two. Oh, hey, he had said something new. Got a rare dialogue. One. Uh, I miss one. Yay, there we go. Talk about filler, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Next episode, let's play through off the rails for the DS. Or follow section. That would be good to have at some point, but I don't know if I'm going to make a water coaster here. Anyways, see you then, guys.